recall that the overall function of the digestive system is to take food and break it down into its smallest substances called macromolecules. And we want to eventually break these macromolecules into smaller units called monomers so cells can absorb them. In order to break down food, some accessory organs and some alimentary canal organs secrete digestive juices which contain enzymes that aid in chemical digestion. So again, we want to break down food into macromolecules and eventually break down the macromolecules into their smaller subunits called monomers. There are four major macromolecules that organisms need and use in a variety of ways. The first macromolecule is a protein. And its monomer is amino acid. The next type of macromolecule is a nucleic acid. And its monomer is a nucleotide. Next are the carbohydrates. And its monomer is a monosaccharide. And finally, we have the lipids, whose monomers are the fatty acids and glycerol. As mentioned to you before, enzymes are going to play a major role in the chemical digestion of food. Enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up a chemical reaction by lowering the activation energy. And activation energy is the energy needed to start a chemical reaction. In other words, enzymes will help speed up the chemical digestion of macromolecules into monomers. Some characteristics of enzymes are they're made of proteins and enzymes are not consumed in a chemical reaction. In other words, it can be used over and over. And the last thing about enzymes is that when naming enzymes, enzymes usually end in the suffix ase, ace, such as lipase, 
or nuclease. Looking at a graph of a chemical reaction and the amount of energy required to start that reaction, the red graph is a chemical reaction without an enzyme, and the blue graph is a chemical reaction with an enzyme. In a chemical reaction without an enzyme, you can see that the energy required to start that reaction is greater than the energy needed uh, to start a reaction with an enzyme. As with all chemical reactions, you start off with reactants and end with products. I like to equate chemical reactions to a person rolling a ball up a hill. Which one would take longer? A person rolling a boulder up this mountain or a person rolling a boulder up this mountain. So again, an enzyme speeds up a chemical reaction by lowering the activation energy. Organs of the alimentary canal that have digestive secretions are the stomach, which produces gastric juice, And gastric juice consists of mucus, hydrochloric acid, and pepsinogen. Hydrochloric acid by itself can break the bonds of all macromolecules, but when combined with pepsinogen, Hydrochloric acid and pepsinogen make a substance called pepsin, which specifically breaks down proteins. Mucus provides a protective layer. So that the hydrochloric acid doesn't eat away at the stomach wall, causing an ulcer. The second alimentary canal organ that produces digestive secretions is the small intestine. And the digestive secretions that the intestine produces are peptidases, which is an enzyme that breaks down proteins. Lipase, which is an enzyme that breaks down lipids, and disaccharidases, which break down carbohydrates. Examples of disaccharidases are amylase, which breaks down the sugar amylose, sucrase, which breaks down the sugar sucrose, lactase, which breaks down the sugar lactose, and maltase, which breaks down the sugar maltose. Accessory organs which produce digestive secretions are the salivary glands, which produces a substance called saliva, and saliva consists of water or serous fluid, mucus, and salivary amylase.
which again breaks down the carbohydrate amylose. Next is the liver, which produces a substance called bile, which emulsifies fat. Emulsified just means traps. So in other words, bile traps or packages fats to be digested or broken down or passed on as waste. The next accessory organ is associated with the liver, and this is called the gallbladder. And the function of the gallbladder is to store bile. And finally, the last accessory organ is the pancreas. And the pancreas produces pancreatic juice, which is a cocktail of different enzymes and substances. For example, pancreatic juice consists of bicarbonate ion, which neutralizes the acid in chyme the pancreatic juice also contains trypsin which aids in which aids in the digestion of proteins chymotrypsin which also aids in the digestion of proteins. Carboxypeptidase, which aids in the digestion of, again, proteins. Pancreatic amylase, which breaks down the carbohydrate amylose, pancreatic lipase, which breaks down lipids, and nucleases, which helps break down nucleic acids.